Hey there, Heather. Hello there. It's Jeff Cutter Dabby. Welcome to another sports catastrophe. Yeah, right. This is another second of ten season. And we're doing the 1953 season in which we see Detroit crushing it in the Western Conference. So Detroit will be in the final. The last time Detroit got to the final was 1938 when they won the whole thing. So Detroit has been 15 years without a title. And Cleveland is trying to cha prevent Philly from ruining their chances to go to the third final in three years. So if Cleveland knows Philly's won back. So they got to play the Giants. The Lowly Giants at the Horseshoe. Two 
tackles, two assists and tackles. But yeah, Cleveland won 29 nothing. So now the Eagles have to beat Washington to put the pressure on. I don't know. If Philly wins. Well, Washington. Well, if Cleveland and Philly have to face each other. So if Philly wins, then they could make it a one game thing. Philly's a five point favorite. Washington starts the ball at Griffith with Jack Scarbuff at quarterback. Strange not seeing Sammy Ball at quarterback. But anyway, that's him. With Leon Heath and Paul Berry running the ball. Charlie Justice, Hugh Taylor, and Fran Poles, but are your offense your receivers? Don Ball, Knox Ramsey, Harry Olinsky, Slick, Rutuki, and Jim Clark. Offensive line. Meanwhile, Philly's defensive line is Norm Wiley, Buckle Kilroy, and Tom Scott. They have four linebackers. Chuck Benarik, Ken Fagel, Wayne Robinson, and Ebert Van Buren. I guess Steve's brother. Al Pollard, Bob Hudson. Sigler has to come in for an injured Tom Brookshire from Ross Craft. Nice yes, Brookshire, the guy who was once Bern Lundquist, I mean, uh, Pat Summerall's main CBS commentator, not John Madden. First down by Justice. Cleveland, technically. Yeah, but Philly being I think, no, they said if Philly beats Cleveland, then they have to play a one-match a ma one match playoff in Cleveland to decide who faces Detroit. And Detroit will have home field because they only have one loss. So Detroit. Uh. And a 
first down by Jim Canelli. Seven three. First down. First down by Sigler. should not matter to anyone. Yeah, for all we know, it could have been a win. So, with one wild card, then Philly would play Cleveland one game winner take all in Detroit. Hang on. Yeah, if I make it a wild card with one team, but San Francisco could jump in. Oh, that's right. San Francisco could jump in by 1%. So, Philly, Cleveland have to play. Yeah, so Philly will have to go to Cleveland. That yeah, Philly will have to go to Cleveland. And the horseshoe. And heavy snow. Well, Philly beat Cleveland last time, but because of percentage points, and they figure Philly's tie would have given them the win in Cleveland. They will toss. There's heavy snow in the area. Wow, look how heavy it is. And a terrible well, Jim Canelli got 35 yards on the play. Adrian Burke at quarterback. Brian Thomason, the guy hit four touchdowns so that the Eagles can get this far. 7 11. First down to Williams. Jerry Williams, that is, to the nine yard line. Two yards. Touchdown, Palmer. The Palmer Sean with the big touchdown to the Eagles. Yeah. Well, Philly wins. Well, they won the 29 title. I haven't been there in four years, but they have won the title. Kick off. So we'll see what all the ground can do in the heavy snow. They had to play because they said Philly wins based on percentage points. At home, they would go to Cleveland. But Cleveland's on the heat at home. And that's a sack by Buckle Cleveland. So this could be. It's 28-17, so Cleveland has bounced back. Yeah, I thought Philly was going to win this game easily. Fourth and ten. Touchdown, Peebles. Great 
touchdown there. That's your point. It's good. 28 24. They have one timeout to move. Cleveland's like, oh my god. And Cleveland will get the ball at the 49. So just one key run. Four yards, second and six. First down. First down, that'll do it. The Eagles thought they had it, but Cleveland will win this game. First down. Take the knee. And Cleveland wins the 10th win. Ray Renfro, three touchdown wins. To see that they knew they had to run the ball, and the Eagles didn't have Stephen Barron anymore. So Cleveland won 28 24. Let's look at the mob score. Yeah, it was 7 nothing. They ran for a random touchdown. 14-7, 14-10, 21-10. It was close, though. Burke tried. 14 for 24, 191, two touchdowns. Graham, 12 for 20, 186. They don't have Stephen Brewing anymore. That's why they lost. They say, well, Cleveland won. So Cleveland will head to the playoff. In Detroit. The NFL title game. Brick Stadium. Yep, Detroit had the better record, so that's why they would play at home. Cleveland's favored by five points. Cleveland, this is their third title game in four years. Detroit, this is their first title game in 15 years. A lot of lean times for a Detroit fan. Detroit will start the ball at the 20 yard line at Brick Stadium. The reason why they don't have the special art is because that's where the stadium is, like Brick Stadium. If it was like Ford Field, they would have the special stuff, but anyway. Bobby Lane, the Golden Boy, who Pittsburgh, no, sorry, who we'll head to Pittsburgh, but Bobby Lane tried to do something for Detroit with Gene Gedman, Oli Klein, and Dope Walker, the man from SMU at running back. Leon Hart, the man from Notre Dame, with Cloyce Box, receiving court. Offensive line, Luke Creekmore, Harry Sewell, Trent, Fence, Baron A, Dick Stanfield, and Ole Spencer. Cleveland's defensive line is George Young, Don Colo, Daryl Palmer, and Luke Ford. Paul Michaels, Tommy Thompson, Bill Willis, the linebackers, Ken Gorgo, Tommy James, Ken Conson, Warren Lohr, are your defensive backfield. First play, first down by Dick Walker. Second and two. First down. First down, Dick Walker.
first down. Detroit's like, well, we're going to win for sure. No, Cleveland crushed Detroit. Detroit's like, well, we have a rest period. I guess they forgot to practice. Cleveland is the 1953 champion. That's all there is to it. Anybody I'm going to do. 